Hey everybody and welcome back to the Mad Hatter Gamer. As you guys can see, today we're going to do an unboxing of the God of War Collector Station. I'm sorry you guys can't see the whole wording where it says God of War here, but you know it's God of War because of that awesome emblem. And this is actually the $129.99 Collector's Edition. It's not the real expensive Collector's Edition, but it's what I could afford and I just really wanted the game and the statue and stuff, so I didn't want all that extra, extra stuff. So what we're going to do is hopefully show you guys the front of it, which is pretty cool. I'll, I'll move it around so you guys can see it. There is Kratos. Awesome. And there's the Sun Australia, I think it's pronounced, and it's a PS4. This box is ten times huger than I thought it would be. I thought it would be about the size of, um, if you guys remember earlier videos, where I did the... The Order 1886, the box is like half this box. This thing is seriously a huge, huge box. And I apologize for the glare here. Um, it's just a light, you know, you guys. It, it's it's not going to happen. I love how everything is in black and white and grayscale, I should say. Except for Kratos' signature mark and his eyes. Those are just so cool. So blue eyes. Um, it is made for a mature audience. It, it is only for the PS4. It's got some cool designs on the side here, as that was the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, same design, I believe. It's awesome. Uh, this one interest got me interested in this one because I am of have Norwegian. I am of Norwegian descent, so so this is pretty cool. This is what you get in it. You get the cool sculpture of Kratos and his son. Battling demons, you get the steel book, which is right here. You get a cloth map. You just you get some cool little figurines. I can't remember what they're called. Um uh, Laura Brothers carvings, that's what those are. And I get exclusive lithiograph, which is cool. I can't wait to see that in person. And like I said, the the cloth map, which is gonna be cool. So let's look at it the other way. It's a one player game. Like most of God of Wars are, PS4, DualShock 4, and it needs 50 gigabytes of hard drive space, which I'm hoping I have. Uh, on the bottom, I don't think there's anything, no, it just does the contents of the box. So let's flip this back upside this way, and unfortunately, I will be unboxing more, a lot, you know, pulling it out. Uh, and what do you call it? I'm just going to use my trusty, dusty knife here to cut it open. Like I said, unfortunately, the setup I have, you guys can't see this, but I am actually cutting the tape that it had on it. Just so you guys know, I just had got this like about 10 minutes before I started doing this. I came in the mail, Amazon. I'm excited that I pre-ordered it. So let's open it up. I will try to do my best so you guys can see a lot of it. And it's just a blue box with God of War on the end. So I'm going to try to do this without... Bumping or destroying anything. No guarantees, because this is a lot bigger than I expected. Of course, the box does not want to come out. And I broke the outside box. No! Uh, also dented it up, but oh well. I didn't buy it for the box. Okay, it's taking a little bit longer than I expected. It's really tight. Oh, this box looks awesome. The, outs the inside box looks really awesome. All right, so here we go. We're going to flip over the box. Check this box out. This is awesome. This alone, this box alone is a masterpiece. Sony went all out. For this box this is the back by the way okay side that is the front that is just beautiful and here I'll show you guys if you guys can see it I don't know so it's got a war and it's just it's beautiful this is actually a box that I don't want to rip so what we're going to do is we're going to open it up hopefully not ruin it oh it says something here uh, it's in uh, old Norse script, so I can't read it. I used to be able to read it, but here, this is cool. Um, we'll take the steel book. It's right on the top right here. We'll take that out. Okay. 
we'll take the top box out here. You know, we're going to put the steel book back in there and put that to the side. Guys, I'm actually, I'm, I'm excited. I haven't bought a collector's, I haven't bought a collector's issue game and I think Uncharted 4 was my last collector's edition. This, this statue is huge, so I'm going to have to take this off, move the stuff around again, and hopefully get it out without breaking the box. Because I like this box. This box alone is a collectible. Oh, see, I knew I was going to hit the camera. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Love that box. Oh my god. Sony, what are you doing to me here? Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys this. Each end has one of these. And that's to cover the statue. Oh you guys, this is just too many boxes, but well, I'm breaking stuff. Oh Alright, so you guys can kind of see the statue right now. And then we'll go back to the other stuff after the statue's out. So I really want to check out the statue. I am cutting the tape around the statue, you guys. Oh, can you guys hear that? I am cutting the tape. I'm trying not to cut the statue at all. Oh my god, this is this is a big ass uh, statue, you guys. I normally don't swear, but this is this is huge, man. So you guys can tell that and guys and gals that can tell. I'm trying like heck not to cut into the statue. All right, there we go. I think we got it. We're going to put the knife away because, well, they're dangerous. And always remember to cut away from you guys. All right, let's see if we can pop the top. Oh, you guys, this is huge. This, this thing is huge. Oh, my God, this thing is... Oh, my God. Oh my god, this thing is awesome. And I'm not just saying that. This thing is... Oh my god, this thing is just beautiful. You guys are seeing an aerial view. But you guys will see it. As soon as I take this off, I will show you guys. Oh my god, this thing is... This thing is amazing. Oh my god. It's bigger than I thought. Um, about 6 to 10 inches. Um, I don't have a, I don't, oh yeah, I do have actually a, a, uh, really here. Let's check out the height here. And I would say he is, the whole statue is 10 inches tall. 10 inches tall. And just look at this thing. Look at this. I'm, I'm going to try to get it as good as I can. I'm going to have to flip it this way, you guys. But look at this thing. Just look at that. The detail in this thing is just amazing. The statue. Oh, and look at that. The sword's going through the head. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it went through his hand first. Oh, that is so cool. This is just an amazing statue. I'll try to get a, a photo and put it in here. It is plastic, that pot plastic stuff. And I don't know if it's numbered or not, but if it is, it's two, 20, 2 million, wait, 20, 2 million, 17,240. But I don't know if it might just be the part, but look at that. Yeah, I wonder if I could get you guys a darker image. Yeah, here, does this look better to you guys? It looks kind of, yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, look at that. There you guys can see it a little bit better. And I'll turn it around here. You guys can see that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is just amazing. You guys want to see his head? I'll try to give you the... See how my setup is. I can't get real close, but... Look at that detail. Alright, so with that cool statue out of the way, we're going to check out the rest of the stuff. Alright, so this is on top, um, and I pulled the steel book out before, but this is the steel book. That's cool. 
This is God of War. It's got writing on it. I'm just doing that so you guys can see it. And then I don't know if this has codes in it or not. I want to make sure there are codes, but nicely they have them on the other side. Um, this is for the Armor Death Vow Armor Set, Exiles Guardian Shield, Guard of War Digital Comic, the Digital Art Book, and Dynamic Theme for your PS4. So that came with it. There's the game. I'm not going to take it out. That's cool. I love steel books. And underneath here is where all the other goodies are. Which looks like you just open up here. Just like that. And I don't know if you pull this all out or what. Yep. Pull out the bottom. Alright, pull out the bottom. Alright, so out of box. Lots of box. Okay, so I don't know where we're gonna go with that. Alright, so this is what you get in there. You get the cloth map, which is pretty cool. Um, oh, I hate your tape. It's too good. Too good. Because I don't want to ruin anything, so I just... Alright, there we go. It is real cloth. Uh, it's like a suede. It feels like cowhide suede. And it looks like it too. Microfiber. Um, they put it on cardboard, but it's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to take it all apart and show you guys. I'm sorry, but you know, I'll show you some of the artwork here that's on the outside. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let alone is a piece of artwork in my book. Okay. And we got the little figurines. Are these locked up too? Nope, they don't have the little figurines. Oh, these are little cool carvings. I'll show you guys each individual one if, if it shows up. There you guys go, that's one of them. These are those brothers. You know, I heard about these before this game. I just didn't know what they were about. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Sitting. This is just Santa Monica Studios. You you just just did your out did yourself. And here's the lithograph. Um, guess we should open that up and look at that, because that's part of the whole experience. Like I said, I don't want to ruin anything. So look at this tape, you guys. This tape is like, nope, I'm not. You're not gonna make me. But I did, so there you guys go. It's just got a war. And then your lithio is in between two of these, or or maybe you just open it up. Oh, it comes out. Oh, that's cool. And here's a lithiograph. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Now, I'll flip it around. I want to be careful. Uh, it's signed by Greg Barlog. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, sir. But it says, Finding that first single image that can speak to an entire team but the core vision of a game that only exists in your head can be maddeningly difficult. Maddeningly difficult. can take weeks or even months of writing, talking, arguing, and even pleading to create that perfect picture a lot more than I did to get the first, oh, I'm sorry, picture that will guide hundreds of people through the difficult years of development. Knowing this, I really did expect to, to struggle a whole lot more than I did to get the first concept piece that I have to had. I had not been fortunate enough to work with Jose Cabrera, an artist, an artist whose talent truly ex eclipses any word my tiny brain could ever think of to describe it. All it took was a couple of paragraphs. In a Skype call where I ram rambled incoherently about the vision of the game. And two weeks later, as if sent down from Valhalla on the wings of the Valkyrie, this incredible image just, image just shows up in my inbox. It was perfect. I'm not kidding. The first thing you showed 
Uh, so it's pretty damn close to the final image we see here. I think the first thing I said was, this is what we're going to make. That was quickly followed by, oh crap, how the hell are we going to make this? I don't know if this is actually signed by him or if it's lithographed. I'm not going to find. I, I'm, I, I hope he signed it. But if he didn't, I understand he didn't because he would have had to sign like tons of these. But look at that image, you guys. Look at that. That is just an awesome lithograph. And I'm going to find either a a frame for it or just leave it in here and keep it as a collector's item. But that, that is just awesome. Alright, you guys, so there you guys go. We got the cool lithograph that I just showed you. We got the cool printed cloth map on microfiber. That was awesome. I'm, it, it's going up somewhere. So is the lithograph. I don't know how, but I am going to get that up there. I'm going to move the knife so I don't hurt myself. Me and knives don't get along, you guys, just so you know, and gals. We got the cool little figurines. We got the awesome game. I can't wait to play that. And the really cool statue, you guys. This this is like my favorite statue. It's huge, and it's awesome. Oh, kind of looks like my dad when he was younger. Not so mean, though, looking. You guys go, oh, that is so cool. So I want to thank uh, my dad for letting me get this first of all because without him I wouldn't get be able to get this this um, awesome video game collecting and this awesome game and statue and all this stuff and Amazon for getting it to me on the day of release. Thank you Amazon and uh, I want to thank you guys for watching and making it possible for me to do stuff like this because without you guys watching this stuff I would not be making these videos. I would not be streaming. I would not be doing any of this. And I know it's far in between that I do videos, but, you know, it takes money to buy this stuff, and I don't have money, unfortunately. But when I do, I try to buy pretty cool stuff to show you guys. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by and checking out the video. I know it's a little bit long, and I'm, I'm sorry about that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed all my videos. If you don't, if you're not subscribed, Please subscribe. If you liked the video, thumbs up. There's going to be more videos. If you have any questions about the game, what what got what I got in here or anything, please leave a question below. Any comments, just comment. It would be awesome. And you guys, follow me on Twitter. I am the TMH Gamer on Twitter. I will leave the link below. I'm also t on Twitch, the Mad Hatter Gamer. I will leave the link below. I do have a store. I'll leave the link below if you want to help. You can also donate, and uh, that will help me get more of this awesome stuff. And again, thank you. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Remember to keep your controllers charged, and hashtag never stop gaming. Time to play Kratos!